Hello everybody and welcome back to the realm of Vastin. So, uh, the time has come. The time has come that we start doing some work uh, on a, another patron build here in Salea. Pro the last patron build of Salea, actually. And uh, I'm starting this now. We are not yet in 114.1 yet. It just came out like yesterday. Um, but we're not we're not quite there yet. We're not quite ready. Uh, we're doing a little bit of lag busting on the server, trying to figure out what exactly is going wrong. Uh, yeah, not going wrong, but the server's just, it's had, it's had a wee bit of lag here recently. So uh, before we upgrade, because then we're going to lose Beckett, uh, we're going to use lag assist which helps you just kind of track down uh where there may be problematic uh little parts of your server so we're using that basically today and then maybe upgrading to updating tomorrow so uh i've been waiting for that because what i want to build is going to require a lot of of that uh those blocks basically and let me show you what i've been working on so uh i did this largely on a live stream this is a little nature cave now joel had suggested um Klautos has an entrance to his crypt and and the choice was basically two choices he he thought either maybe a spiral staircase in a, a building over there or joel had suggested maybe a separation in the root right here and Klautos picked that one, so I thought, okay, that's cool. I'll pick this one, because I think this would be a really cool, like, natural cave that then goes secretly into the Thieves' Guild. Because the Thieves' Guild should, uh, they should be a little bit mysterious, kind of, where they are and stuff. Um, so we worked on this on a live stream, uh, just kind of digging out. Juxy helped me a little bit. Uh, and, yeah, just kind of digging out. Then I came back in, added some nature, some, some little ice spots, which are cool. Actually, this one's really cool, because if you look in, you can see the roof of the crypt, which I I thought was a nice touch um and down here there's some spots that aren't aren't done yet you know we're still getting there but but uh, you can see the idea of the cave is is getting closer you know where it's just gonna be a lot of nature vines that you just walk through and and yeah i think it's, it's gonna be really cool and what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be putting in within this cave there's gonna be little areas where maybe people might hang out um uh maybe maybe live maybe some houses and stuff like like i was thinking like in a place like kind of like this go down here and all of a sudden that's someone's house you know something like that like cut into the brick uh into the stone rather um but then somewhere in this area which this isn't done yet because i don't know where we're going to put it yet but somewhere is going to be an entrance to the thieves guild which is going to be right in here that we're going to build it in here now um it's not going to be it doesn't need to be that big because it's going to be hidden it's going to be tucked away it's going to be really twisty turny and all that kind of stuff so uh there'll be little rooms um uh for you know living quarters and, and and fireplaces and and libraries maybe where they can learn their thief thief skills there'll be thief tests and things uh but the first thing i probably need to do is uh before i even worry about how we're going to get in here i probably need to worry about getting rid of this uh this uh wool here because cloud just put down this wool um to kind of mark out where the crypt was going to be and then as you can see he ended up uh putting it up a little higher so all of this wool can go away so I figured we'll just harvest that all up first. And then uh, now the only thing is we can't go down any at all because this right uh, down here is the little pumpkin farm that we made. Uh, that's not how you get to it. I really, really thought it was. Uh, it, it's down. It's down here. I think, it, you know what? I think if I just break like any block, I think I'll, I'll get to it. But is it over here? Yeah, it's right here. Yeah, see that that's like the little jack-o'-lantern farm basically where you can run through shear them all and then chop them all up and it, it's, it's a nice fast way to get a whole bunch of jack-o'-lanterns so you know so but i'm not planning on having very many big rooms in this now for those of you who have always said hey fix you got to do interiors and yeah i'm looking at you wrecked slash a bunch of other people so fine here you go you're getting a whole build that's all basically only interior because uh, since you're coming in like here the whole thing is just going to be interior looks i mean that's pretty much it uh, i've just went and harvested just a crap ton of spruce all this spruce is, is sort of figured out uh, i'm going to go get uh now i'm like uh, shears to harvest all this up and cobble and then we're gonna start kind of putting together interiors and, and i thought maybe we could do some of the building the initial building at least uh together for this uh this thieves guild and and, and i want to figure out what exactly maybe some some lore and some ideas behind the thieves guild and uh who they are and why they do oh by the way this goes to mantis's cave as well so um yeah it's kind of cool there's some like really nice lookings and in fact actually um i think you can see the vd dimension I think it's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's the VD uh, 
well, it's wool. It's all black wool, but that's the VD di dimension. So, so yeah, there's some cool stuff around here that I think um, I think we can work out. We can work out some cool stuff. So let me get to uh, harvesting all, all this wool, and then we'll kind of talk, uh, you know, laying out uh, blocks and, and kind of figuring out a pallet, okay? All right, so I am getting used to 114.1. Oh, man, I love it. I just made a campfire and a whole bunch of scaffolding. I don't really need scaffolding that much. This roof isn't that tall. <laughs> um, but yeah, so a lot of things to talk about. Uh, so uh, there's the campfire. First campfire I've ever made. First campfire I've ever put down. Oh, isn't that cool? Isn't that freaking cool? Oh, man, I love it. Now, next thing I want to do is I want to, I want to check out some other things. So I got a stone cutter. So if I put this in here, that's going to allow me to make, let's see, two different slabs, two different stairs, um, this or that, which is weird. I thought for sure. Can I just make all of them? Oh yeah, I can. Okay. Then if I put this in, oh, there's no, <gasps> there's no polished insulate bricks. Is that, a, is that true? Is that a thing? Is that a thing? I didn't, I didn't think that that was a thing. Oh, man, that's a drag. I thought for sure that they were polished anisite bricks. Well, crap. <laughs> I thought for sure there was polished anisite bricks. Darn it, man. Darn it. Anyway, all right. Well, hmm. Blah. Okay, so what we what I want to do, this this first room of the Thieves Guild, set up a little circle here. This is going to be the actual secret entrance, I think. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to make like like over here, like on the side, like uh, on the side here, a really secret little entrance that you're going to like do a piston something or something other than that or somehow. I actually thought of, you know what would be actually kind of cool? I actually, um, I wonder if it would be cool if we did like a walk, like a fireplace where you had to like walk through. Hmm. Like, say there's a fireplace right here, and you walk through it, and then all of a sudden you're over here, and you can, like, go through the cave that way or something like that. That would be really cool. And this is how you walk in, through the fireplace. Oh, man. I really like that idea. Uh, maybe. That's really interesting. So... What I want to do, first thing is I want to decorate this room, and that's going to involve getting a roof on it, so it actually looks like a room. So here I have a whole bunch of spruce, and that's really what I want to use for that. So uh, I don't think, I'm fairly certain that this doesn't do anything with wood, right? No, you can't put it in. All right, so let's let's do let's do this, and I guess just really planks, I suppose. And you know what I'm going to use? I'm going to use scaffolding. I'm going to use scaffolding. Just put it right here. Going right up. Just going right up the easiest way. Oh, man. Oh man, that's so nice. Okay, uh, yeah, that's uh, sorry, sorry. I, I'm reacting to things that, that much of the world has had for months. Those of you who play on Bedrock or slash uh, um, use uh, uh, play in the snapshots, but yeah, to me it's new. To me it's new, and I love it. Okay, cool. So this is uh, yeah, we're gonna do this roof. I want to do like a bit of a round roof, and then. Um, over top of it, we're gonna put just like a little flume where the smoke goes up as if it's not gonna immediately stop, which it is, of, of course. So, um, let's see, I guess we'll do that and let's do that. Yeah, we'll just come along something like this. And then I think we'll probably end up using some texture variation or something, but I don't have any of that. By the way, we have a new version of the, the texture pack. Um, that's coming. That's coming. Oh, that's coming to you shortly. I think I'm talked to Germ about maybe recording possibly tonight, like kind of an episode together where we talk, we discuss all the different textures. And I really, you know, I, I thought it'd be a fun thing where uh, I could like pick his mind. Like uh, Germ's such a master artist and a master texture pack maker and everything. Um, I thought it would be kind of fun to be like, uh, yeah, Germ. I, like, I know you did that, but why did you do that? And, and find out for, for those of us who maybe aren't as artistically inclined as he is, uh, just like kind of pick his mind. Oh yeah, we're sneaking right now. Yeah, you can sneak in, in 114. What a, what a cool surprising mechanic that is that they, uh, oops, don't really want to do that, uh, that they added in. The ability to sneak and go down uh, half a block size. That's really cool. Okay. Hello. Hello. Hello, spider. Don't set me on fire. I'm trying to kill you. Wow. That's a lot of hits for a spider. Okay. Uh, anyway, yeah. So I think this is probably going to be the flume. We'll just do something along these lines. Never mind me. Yeah, the lag is real. Look, the lag is real. We knew it was going to happen. We did. We knew it was going to happen, and it did. And it's fine. It's fine. We're all fine <laughs> with it. It's just, is you know, it's kind of whatever. It's kind of a drag. But um, where are we? Are we in the half block? Yeah, we are. So let's try this and that and that. Yeah, what we'll do is we'll just do this right here. Oops, not that actually. Um, ah, how am I gonna place these blocks? 
I have to, can, can I reach? The one, one of the nice things about Bedrock is I would be able to reach that in Bedrock. I would. I would. And I cannot reach it here. Okay. All right. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. These are easily fixed. We'll just re replace them. Uh, what? what oh, that's okay. I'll just scaffold up. It's so easy now. I'll just scaffold up. Oh, hello. Okay. Let, let me... That's cool. I'm on fire. Let me let me let me do this. Let me, another zombie. Cool. There, it's a party. Uh, let me let me do this stuff and then I'll come back. Oh man, oh man, a lot of work has gone down. So I did a live stream between the last clip and now, and also uh, Juxy has been on here quite a bit helping me out. So uh, first thing is we now have command blocks doing the spectator mode and adventure mode right here at the bar, which is super cool. Also, secondly, how cool is this? I knew that this is in here, but I forgot completely. If you put a brown mushroom in a cup, it changes the cup to be look like a cup, a cup of water, right? Super cool. Really cool. Germ, you're a master. Uh, anyway, really cool. So we have, we have spectator mode and we have adventure mode. That was we were doing all of the uh, thing. Also, look at this. Check this out. Uh, if you put a red mushroom in, it becomes that. This one I didn't know about. I think I think it was maybe in uh, Germ's live stream that I slept through. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah. So uh, something funny about this one. Yeah. Juxy with the jokes. Juxy with the jokes. Anyway. Uh, yeah. So th th this is just really cool. It's just the, the interior of this first room is really cool. But how do you get out? Uh, you might ask. You may ask, like, well, the fix. You're completely stuck in with this. Th this should that needs to be like a like a dropper or something. I just haven't I forgot about it. So uh, how do you get out? Well, it's interesting. Um, what if I just take Oh, look at this page. So reef is the founder of the guild of, of the Salaya Thieves Guild. Not much is known about his family, but what we know, uh, what we do know is that Reef grew up er, um, in an orphanage where uh, he did not get along well with his peers. Over time, however, Reef became more and more skillful against all odds. He gradually became a master thief. First, he stole to survive, then later to profit, and later still to take power. Known as the Silver Fox, he became one of the most skilled and notorious thieves of his time. Despite all the crimes, Reef did not have a bad heart. His credo, steal, yes, murder, no. As a loner on the road for most of his life, Reef now wanted to take uh, another step. The Foundation of the Thieves Guild, under his leadership in the realm of Vastin, was formed to find a mysterious artifact known only to the Frost Druids. It is whispered in dark alleyways of an item of great power in the Frost Druids' possession, an item that could grant long life. Some people say it is so powerful that some of the original artifacts Arbor Druids still live even now after more than a thousand years. Pretty juicy lore. Uh, more importantly, I don't know if you noticed, but if you turn the page in any direction, this opens up. Oh, yeah, and there's a skeleton standing right there. <laughs> there's a skeleton standing right there. Kind of blew my surprise just a wee little bit. Where'd that guy go? Oh, right there. <sighs> scared, scared me so much. Uh, anyway, this is the way, this is the, the secret way in and out pretty cool right you turn page. I, I wanted to make it fairly easy but yeah if you turn pages either way then there's a little secret passageway and this is going to be the way the way up right this is going to be the way to get up back up to the cave now we're not we're not there yet so uh you know we haven't really worked that much more in the cave but little way in real secret stuff let me show you some more stuff since you were here last so if you go this way, uh, Juxy came up with the idea of put some of these little uh, things here, that, which I really like. These little like like uh, depressions in the in the ground, very cool. Little tavern here with some I, uh, these barrels, man. These barrels are so nice with the with the tops on them and everything. Really cool. Um, yeah, they just help so much, man. You can just do so many things with these. They're so cool. So anyway, yeah, uh, again, really nice roof, the whole bit, the whole bit, super nice, super cool. So then you come in here, you go, say, over this way, you find some shulkers. It looks like these are juxtas from working. Um, uh, this, uh, I think, I want to say that this is an area, this is going to be behind the scenes area, I think. I think this is just to get to the guts of it, because we are underground. We're right beside Cloutos' crypt. Then if you come up here, you go up or you go down, you go down even further. There's little rooms here. This area has a little cool secret path that we might we might use for something, like getting into some caves and stuff like that. Uh, over here, it looks like this is going to go up. Yeah, can you see all these different uh, little pathways and stuff like that? Um, I should close the door because it'll help keep the zombie population down. Oh, man. Clearly not not that well lit. Clearly not that well lit. And like little areas like, like for example, here, this may be a passageway, maybe a secret passageway. I'd like to include a lot of secret passageways, but but all very like very low ceilings and hidden stuff. And this is the one area that I, I was working on um, 
well, before I, I had to go out of town for work. So before I went out of town for work, um, future commands for auto equip armor. Yeah, there's some really cool stuff coming eventually at some point. But um, let me go back to that area that I was working on just a wee bit. I think it's over this way. And I'll show you what uh, one of the ideas I had. So I, I want to have a thieves test, right? So I put up here. So I, up here, if you go right about here and you fall down, maybe it will make something that hurts a little less. I thought we could work on this a little bit together. So the idea here would be that there'd be doors. So once you fall down in, then you're stuck. Yes, there's a ladder for now so we can get out. But the only way to get out is going to be this area right here. So... Um, Let's put up, uh, I don't even know. I, I, I probably need to like do some of this just to make it uh, look a little bit more random. Probably just like a little bit. Uh, you know what I just heard? I just heard Optifine's uh, ready and I didn't, I didn't get it. I didn't, I didn't grab. Oh, but it's only, it's only for 114, not 114. We're still 114.1 at the time that I'm recording this. Uh, 114.2 is in a, uh, is in a, a pre-release. I was kind of hoping to get it today, but it looks like there's a little bit more work. I, some people have said that the lighting issues are still not fixed. I don't know if that's the case or not, but um, uh, either way, we don't we don't quite have it yet. So so e even if Opt finds out for 114, we don't have it yet for 114.2 uh, yet. And I think you know it's just a matter of time. Once 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 they get um, usually once they get. Uh, the the pre-release for for one version the, the the point two version won't be all that far away so in my in my guess my guess is anyway uh, let's grab some of these just I'm just randomizing this just a little bit just so it looks like it's not that's kind of old you know uh, so here's what I want to do okay I want to build basically up here um, something like this and we're gonna be doing some more redstone if you can believe it i don't know what i'm even doing to myself here honestly uh let's go here um it's an even numbered that's not totally ideal um but yeah i'd rather it not be an even numbered actually so instead we're gonna do it like this uh, i'm gonna vary just a little bit let's go over here and over here um yeah i don't know uh, something like this. Yeah. Okay. You see what I'm doing here? <laughs> uh, okay. Let me let me let me work out uh, all this, and then we'll we'll draw back in, take a take a closer look. I actually had to just look up the uh, the recipe for an item frame because I actually forgot it. If you can believe it, after after all these this time of playing this game, I have forgotten how to build a freaking item frame. Uh, yeah, but uh, I did. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot how to make one. So anyway, uh, yeah. So I now know. <laughs> I now know. And uh, I, I guess I I don't know. Well, let's find a place for a furnace. I probably surely somewhere I have some coal sitting around that I can just use. Oh, what's up, creeper? Now, Creeper, you can hurt me now, but you can't blow apart blocks, as far as I know. But people do occasionally change things on the server from time to time, so let me make sure here. Um, I don't know. I didn't think I even looked over it here. Uh, what's over here? Ooh, what's down here? Uh, it's very dark. Juxy, this is very dark. Uh, let me see. Oh, boy. Wow. Your stock, okay. That's cool. Uh, you know what? Okay, how about if we just do a furnace right about, like, here? How about if we just do it right in this room? <laughs> I ran all over the place. I'm just going to do it right here. Yeah, you know, let's just put it right here. We, we'll, I'll move it. This isn't permanent. This is not forever. Oh, shoot. Darn it. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, there. That, that's really lame, but okay, whatever. Uh, let's put in some coal there, and I'm going to grab this rotten flesh. We're going to make an item frame and then get rolling on this. Oh, man. So much so much stuff. Okay. I mean, I actually need the wood. Uh, yeah, I need the wood. And I just need two of these guys. Uh, wait, no, I need four. I lied. I need four item frames. And the reason why I need four is because I want to use a little bit of redstone thing. Now, I believe... Oh, I'm going to need a comparator. Mm, I'm going to need a comparator. Let's go Let's go get a couple comparators and, and take a look at this cave while we head up, up to the... Yeah, it's still a little wee little bit laggy, you know. Things are going well. Things are going well. Well, look, we're in one... I'm not going to complain. Because we're in 114.1, we get all the new blocks and stuff like that. We're playing on a multiplayer server um, with only 10 gig of RAM. Which, yeah, 10 gig, I mean, that's a lot for me, I know. But that's not a lot for, like, the Hermitcraft or, you know, something like that. So, um, you know, I, I'm really happy that we're doing as well as we are. So I'm not going to complain about it, even though it is still a wee bit laggy. But that's all right. 
That's all right. So uh, while this is rolling, let me. Uh, oh, I'm gonna have to eat. The cave is the cave is looking good. We got some work to do on the cave. Um, the leaves and stuff help a lot. What's the sign say? Block pallet. Yeah, I, I've somewhat ignored that a little bit uh, because jungle wood is kind of difficult to come by. In fact, actually, that's something we're gonna have to. Uh, well. I don't like the jungle. I don't like how the saplings in jungle wood don't drop that much. Uh, I, I don't think it's a I don't think it's a great mechanic. It makes you cut down a big portion of a jungle pretty frequently, and I, there's no need for that in my opinion. So, um, anyway, regardless, that's neither here nor there. What I am here for is what am I here for? I, I've already forgotten. I've completely spaced on what the heck I'm even here for. Uh, I could, if I was going to come up here, I could have just gotten leather from here. We have a ton of leather because I just smelted like ten stacks of rotten flesh or something, something in those in those areas. Uh, rotten flesh, yeah, we have lots, and it's all a ton of it has been smelted. Uh, unfortunately, the rabbit leather recipe doesn't work because I think it's been overwritten by this. But yeah, look how much there is. Okay, I will just grab that. That's not what I'm here for, though. What am I here for? What am I in the yurt for? Oh, uh, comparators. Aha, yes, redstone. Okay, so I need, I'm gonna need. Uh, a couple of these and comparator can i can i search this no why wouldn't this not show me that that is really annoying it's really really annoying comparator huh redstone come yeah it's just not a recipe that it knows wow that's so weak <laughs> sorry that's just so weak i don't understand why it, is it just is it currently broken or is it like forever broken or what uh, but man, that's that's really annoying. Okay, so I need uh, a little bit of quartz. I think. Is, do we have any quartz? I've got one of these. I could, I could uh, mine up. What uh, fortune? Yeah. Let's see how many we get. I got three. Um, comparator. It's repeaters there. Comparators there. Now it's there. Now that I have all this stuff, even though, even though this is very annoying. Okay. Uh, I need four comparators, so I, that means I need one more quartz. Is there any chance I could get one more quartz here in this, in this, uh, in this storage area that we have? Uh, oh yeah, I think there should be enough for one more. <laughs> there should be enough for one more quartz. Okay, cool. Can I make this now, please? Please. What am I missing? What am I missing here? Uh, smooth stone. I have oh torches. Oh, okay. All right, fine, fine. We'll just make uh three more redstone torches. Okay, now I can make this cool, awesome. Okay, so I got four of these uh, or frame, you know, frames, whatever. I have redstone. That's gonna be good. And I'm gonna need some iron doors. Okay, so iron doors. Let's go here. I know I'm doing redstone. I, it's gonna it's gonna blow your mind. Is gonna blow your mind. Okay, fine. Um, coal, coal. Okay, I'll see you back over, over there. Well, let's see if we can find this place again, shall we? Uh, I'm not exactly totally sure where it is. I think it might be over in this sort of ballpark area. Yeah, I'm right. Okay, cool. Take some fall damage. That's cool. Okay, so I got all this stuff dug out. So here's my thinking. I, um, this has got to just kind of go down somewhere so that I can use it, like right there. Okay, cool. And I'm gonna need to make uh four iron doors great okay and we're gonna put that right here right here right here and right here okay that's the four iron doors and then over here what we're going to be doing is putting up item frames uh with redstone torches because i think that works a certain way we're gonna find out here in just a second we're gonna do a test together now those of you who know how to do redstone uh then you're gonna be like uh, fix you're an idiot I did not test this out of course I mean you know who I, I am who I am uh but one two three four okay cool that's not painting right item frame okay great all right so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna do item frame item frame item frame item frame oh yeah and then put a redstone torch right in there now I believe that that gives out a redstone signal I think I could absolutely be wildly, completely wrong. Uh, absolutely. So we'll find out here in just a quick second. Um, as my phone's, my phone's blowing up right now. Sorry, I don't have time to talk to you. I'm talking to my friends. I'm talking to my friends. Uh, where is this? Where's that iron frame? Is it 
Yeah, okay, it's right here. Okay, so let's see. Does that send out a signal? Let's find out, shall we? Nope, shoot, I just did a thing. I pressed the button, I didn't mean to. Okay, let me see if this does this. Does that, that does send out a signal. Now, how much? Who knows? No way to know. <laughs> uh, no way to know on that. But, um, if I twist this, can I, like, uh, uh, honestly, can I just do a thing where I can, uh, see, okay. If I twist this like this, oh, see, there's no way to, mm, okay. I may, I may just have to actually do this like old school style. Okay. Uh, let's do this and what we'll do, what we're doing, well, I'm just going to dig right into the ground. I don't even care. I don't even, I don't even care. We're just going to go straight down in and do some redstone science research. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Those of you who know how to do redstone, I'm sorry that you're watching me do this because, uh, this has got to be the most well duh moment of my channel's life. Uh, but yeah. Okay, there we go. Why well, can't I place it? Okay, okay. So that's 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 two. Uh, that's two redstone. Now it's three redstone. Now I want to go the whole way back to the top. Oh, oh damn! Stop! I'm doing. There we go. Okay, to the top. Now this is one redstone. Yeah, that's two. That's three. I four, five. Okay, let me see. One, two, three four five it is does work like that six seven eight let me see one two three four five six seven eight aha i'm gonna put that right there so it gets it gets two it gets past that block and this goes back to one so this is super cool so what we can do is we can make a combination work now i what i could do what i could do if i wanted to if I were so inclined, I could make all four of these have to be the right combination to open these, but I'm not, I don't care that much because honestly, it doesn't change what we're doing this for. And what we're doing this for, this is like, it's like a, it's, it's a thief, uh, it's like a thief test, right? They, they, you know, um, I don't want this to be that, that, that difficult to, to get this figured out, right? So what we're going to do here is uh, dig down right to about here and we'll go down to about here. Now this is going to be a little bit trickier because unfortunately we're down to where bedrock is. So there's going to be, I, I just hope maybe there won't be any bedrock here. That would be really nice. Um, yeah, there's one right there. That's a little, kind of a drag, but it doesn't really matter all that much. Okay. So here's what I want to do. What I want to do is I want to put all the blocks that these are on. Let's make them cobblestone. Okay. And then I'll make nothing behind it, cobblestone. That way I'll know which one is which. Okay, so cobble... Oh, <laughs> that's not even right. Okay, cobblestone. Cobblestone, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's all good. And then all of these, we'll just make these be like smooth stone for right now. Maybe change it later, who knows. But, okay, so this way it'll be easier to, te to tell which is which, right? Um, and I can put these doors back on. There's that. And there's that. Now there's no way in. Ha ha. Tricky, tricky, right? It's going to be pretty good. Okay, so let's go under here. Okay, put this down here so we can all see. Now, a couple of these are cobblestone that shouldn't be. Okay, uh, what's this one? Oh, shoot. That's part of the problem. Okay. Hmm. Okay. All right. So this is actually, uh, you know, let me work this out. This is, I, 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 I can't think all that incredibly well, whatever I'm, I'm, I'm speaking. So let, let, let me, let me think for just a quick second. I'll be back. I'm really trying to figure this out. There's got to be uh, a way to easily do this, but I thought I would bring you in to show you well, maybe just how completely, wildly, wildly inept I am at Redstone. Um, just in case, just in case you weren't sure. So the way I'm looking at this, um, this would need to be like, <laughs> oh man, this is so difficult for me. Uh, this block, if powered, would then make that one not be powered or something along those lines. Like, could that be like, now see, I'm running out of room is the problem. So see, this doesn't work because that, 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 that signals that. So I think if I made, oh, come on. Um, I think if I made this one, if I made no, see, uh, maybe I would need to run power to, see, ah, man, I, I really, really, okay, so now that block's not powered, so if I put this on there, now it's powered, but, uh, 
Ugh. Okay, so now it's power. What I need to do maybe is just reverse the signal, I guess, uh, which I actually kind of know how to do. There's got to be a better way. This is very frustrating. Um, okay, so that signal is going. It, if I put that there, nothing happens. Okay, right, okay. So if I put this like this, then... Um, am I explaining that? Uh, uh, it's extremely frustrating. Okay, all right. Watch this. This does not... Okay, you see what I'm saying? That th Let's work on this door, because this is only one, two, three, uh, four, five blocks, which is within the eight that works, right? Um, so what I need to do is figure out how to get this unpowered. Unless I did something along these lines? This could maybe be a lot easier. What if I did... Oh my goodness. What if I did this? Would this work? Is that going to work? <laughs> did I maybe just do a, a complete idiot? Uh, oh, whoops. Hi. Uh, let me see. One, two, three, four. Should open right now. It did open. Wait. One, two, three, four. It does open. Okay. It does open. Interesting. Okay. Well, that works. Well, that one works. That's not too bad. Why don't I just do that? I'm such a... Well, um, I see why. Because the middle ones here aren't going to have access to that side. See, I could put a block up. I could put a block here. But the middle ones, I'm not going to be able to. Uh, see what I'm saying? Let's see. Let me, uh, let me see right here. Um, where could a block be right there? I don't know what the answer to that is. I'm going to have to do some more thinking here. But all right, Redstone, I'm going to own you at some point. Just maybe not today. Guys, you're never going to believe this, but I did it. I did it. I did redstone all on my own. Okay, yes, you may say Silent Craft is online, but I did not ask for help. I did this completely on my own. So check this out. You just turn this to there and you can go in. Boom. You turn this one to uh, right there and you can go in. Isn't this amazing? Yes, it is. Yes, it is amazing. Okay. And this one... Uh, may or may not be hooked up. Yeah, okay, you turn that one there. And let I, I save this last one for now, okay? So we can, we can do it together. We're going to set this one to right there, okay? So here's how I did the magic. Okay, so I'll, what we're going to do, we're going to make a little bit more space, and we're going to do this darn redstone together, okay? Uh, yeah, yes, this is uh, this is Fix It 412's channel. This is not uh, Mumbo Jumbo uh, or Nembon or uh, any of the other great redstoners that you might think you're watching. Nope, nope, it's me. It's me. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. So now if I put this right here, and if I put this redstone right here, that is not gonna have signal. So what we have to do uh, is I have to uh, I have to make a repeater. I have to go make a repeater, uh, which I can do easily with no problem. Now, if I just click on this button and click on that button and, and then just throw these leather pants on the ground. Okay, now here we go. We're gonna make a repeater that's gonna get a signal right there. Oh yeah. And then we're gonna, uh, then, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a block down. So you have to put a block down over here. Okay. Oh, oh okay. That's a problem. That's a, that's not a big problem, though. That's not a big problem because I've, I figure out how to overcome uh, problems like this that you may, you may, you may see and be like, uh-oh, that's an unsolvable issue. Not for me. Not for me, baby. This is called Efficient Wiring with Fix-It. That's what I'm going to name. I mean, so that's what I'm going to rename my series. It's like uh, you might think that you're watching Logical Geek Boy, but no. No, you're not. No, you're not. Okay. Let me see. Let me one. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, I'm not gonna make it to the door, uh, but it's not a big deal. Why is this here? I, I don't need that there at all. Look at this wiring. Look at this wiring. Now, here you may notice that there may be a problem. There definitely is gonna be a problem, I realize, just right now. Darn it. There definitely 100% is a problem. Crap. <laughs> Crap. Uh, let me show you what the, uh, what the problem is here. Uh, okay, here's, the, here's how I did it. So, uh, this redstone goes right down here and it goes into that block, which powers that block, which makes that, that redstone turn turned off, which makes this one turn on and thus the door opens. Pretty ingenious, right? This one is going to be a problem because that is bedrock right there. Shoot. Uh, maybe it won't be, uh, yeah, it will be a problem. Oh, unless I can, uh, could I come in at the other side? Nope. <laughs> nope, nope, I can't. Uh, what about a repeater? 
I could do a repeater right here. Aha. Aha. I could do a repeater right there. Okay. Let's do that. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, get I'm getting it now. I'm getting it. Guys, I'm getting redstone. This is so great. Uh, let me see here. Do, do, do. Let me see. I can do this. I'll just take this one right here. Okay. See why I'm doing this? You probably don't know. Aha. Because this will uh, go into that, which goes into that, which um, I just need one more repeater, which I can do. Um, I think maybe. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if this works. Okay. Put that down there. One, two, three, four. Oh. Oh, I think it worked. Oh, baby. I think pos potentially maybe it worked. Uh, okay. They're all closed. Let's test it out. Open now. Good. Open now. Good. Open now. Good. And open the whole way around now. Oh, baby. Woo. Redstone. Yeah. Uh, I could do a tutorial on this if anyone needs. I could do a tutorial now. I feel fully capable of it. Um, but yeah, pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Okay, so I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to reset all these. Um, what what I want to do... Uh, well, first, I, I want to like fix this floor because it's, it's a giant, huge mess. Uh, fix the floor because I can put floor over all these things. And then uh, probably... Uh, I want to work on like what is going to happen when you go to the other side of this, right? Like if you go through the wrong door, for example, what is the penalty going to be? It should be something... Something kind of bad probably right so uh let's work out that next and then come back i suppose uh with uh, some more stunning stunning tutorial like redstone moments okay uh these aren't gonna stay there well, they could stay there no that's really lame i mean, get out, get out. this is just that, that was just so i could stand on it <laughs> okay all right uh let, let me let me do some more work and then i'll come back guys a terrible tragedy has happened to me are you ready for this look at what happened I burn up my stuff in lava. I burn up my stuff in lava. Now, luckily, I don't think it's that big of a deal, but... Yep. Yep. I burned it up. Let's see if I can fix it here on camera. Darn it. I was wondering. I was like, wow, this is so weird that this isn't... Oh, I'm going to need one more repeater. Um, darn it, man. Uh, let's see. Can I make a repeater? Um, what am I missing? Smooth stone. Really? Of all things. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, let me just grab some of this stuff. Uh, yeah, anyway. anyway. Uh, so so what happened was, so I decided one of the doors should maybe just have lava, like, right at right the front. I thought that would be really cool, right? Um, well, it turns out that that, uh, that that lava does indeed uh, burn stuff up. It does indeed burn stuff up. So good to know. Good to know. And um, what do you need? Three of these? Oh, man. I'm, like, running out of, I'm running out of room for everything. Uh, okay, can I do it now? Okay, yeah, I can. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's see. So redstone needs to go into that guy. And this, am I right on this? Needs to have redstone. Okay. Let me see if I, if I fixed it. Oh, I, when, when, when declaring myself a redstone master of all time, I didn't really think that I would already make mistakes. Okay. Good. Oh yeah, it's good. Okay. That one works good. How about this one? Okay, that one works. Awesome. Why won't it turn anymore? Okay, lag, no problem. Okay, and uh, let's see. It looks like this one does work. Okay, and does this one work? Yes, it does. And that's the one with lava. So don't go in that one. Now, what I could do that would be really cool is is put where maybe that is the one to go into and there's like water right behind it. That could actually be kind of cool. Let me see. What, what about this one? If I did this, what's under? Okay, seriously, bat, you're killing me. Uh, what if I did this? Okay, what now? Could I do? I could do that. Um, it would need to have. Let me see. Yeah, you know what? That's exactly what I'm gonna do. This is gonna be the way out. This is gonna be the way out. Oh, this would be. Oh, wait, no, no, I don't need to do that one. This is not gonna be the way out. The way out's gonna be this one, because I already did. Is there anything under this? Can I put... Uh, yeah, I can. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to grab grab another bucket of lava, 
And I'm going to get uh, something that doesn't burn that would keep lava out that you can pass through. I guess that's got to probably be a gate, right? Okay, seriously? Seriously. Let's make a, let's make a freaking chest uh, so I can dump some of this stuff here. Okay, let's make a gate and uh, see how this works. Can I make a gate? Why, why can't I make a gate? I mean, really, why can't I make a gate? It's so weird. Okay, I need to make two, probably. Um, maybe actually even three, I think. Okay, let's go three. And here's what we're going to do. Oh, this is going to be really cool. Okay, so this is going to be... Okay. Um, so you're going to walk right through here. Here's lava. Now, there happens to be lava, like, right about here? No, here. Is there lava over here? 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 Somewhere? No? Okay, I'm fairly sure there's lava here. I'm sure of it, actually. Where the heck is the lava? Uh, let's see. <laughs> I can't find it. Is it over here? Oh, it's over. It's way over here. Okay. I mean, honestly, is it over here? Okay, there. It's there. Okay, fine, fine, fine. fine. Okay, let's do this. If I put lava right about. Mm -hmm. Right about here. What's going to happen to that lava? This would be so cool. So the, the way to get out of this room is you have to walk through the lava to show how fearless you are. Now, I'm not an idiot. I'm going to need some water. So uh, let me go get some water because I don't think there's any water around here. Let me go get some water and then we'll come back and uh, uh, sort of figure out. It is, it is, uh, it's thundering something fierce here. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let me, let me, let me, let me figure figure it out let me figure out how, 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 how to get out of this big mess okay i'll be back all right i've done a lot of building watching uh, the last two episodes of game of thrones which were spectacular don't let anyone tell you otherwise they were amazing but uh i have uh basically we're out of time for the episode and i've done a lot of work so let me show you now we're not all done with everything we're not all done with everything but if you just turn this like this and just it's gonna hurt a little bit it's gonna hurt a little bit oh yeah then you get through the water and then you find this little passageway uh which opens up into a little cave uh this yeah i mean i this is all hand dug out you know um every time i found a lava pool i tried to utilize it uh there's clearly some spots that aren't aren't really done yet clearly some spots i've just been working on a second before hitting record but um yeah, I just kind of, I was looking at how much time is in this episode, and I, I'm, I'm kind of up against it here, but if you follow this all along here, then you're going to get this little area here that's going to be like a bit of a thieves den sort of thing, where we'll put some some supplies and some stuff where they can hide, evade the authorities and all that kind of stuff, because they are trying to pull off a heist uh, from the Arbor, or from the Frost Druids, and uh, you wouldn't want the Frost Druid police, whatever they may be, to, uh, to sort of find them. And I've been really utilizing these wonderful smooth stone stairs, and here here is the way out. So this is kind of like their emergency exit slash way that if they're down here, uh, you know, hiding or, or something, it connects to the crypt over there. There's another way that it connects to the crypt. I'm going to show you how that is as well. Now, uh, we haven't talked to Klautos. I know Juxi's been working on this a little bit. I've been working on this a little bit. Uh, we haven't talked to Klausos yet. He has an idea of where it might connect. So this is very temporary. So Klausos, if you're watching this, don't worry. We can move this completely to anywhere that you, uh, you know, see fit. Um, but uh, this is kind of a, uh, this would be kind of a nice place, but it certainly doesn't have to be here. It can be literally anywhere. As you can see, it's just a tiny little one by uh, one, by one you know, high, uh, walkway. So we can put this anywhere. So uh, it's easy to fix it. But once you check out all this stuff, then look at all of this. Oops, I found the one way that's not connected. Okay. Yeah. All through all here, all this stuff, man, I love these really tight, tight hit your head corners and, and all these all we're going to outfit all of this stuff with like, um, I don't know, just like stuff sitting around the hallway, like little barrels. This was, I, I just threw that down there, little rooms, things like this that are just going to have stuff inside of them and, and all that kind of stuff. But we are just, we're totally out of time. We're totally out of time. Did a lot of work today. I mean, did a lot of work in the Thieves Guild. Uh, and we probably still have some more to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little break from, from this episode, or from this build. Take a, a, a wee tiny little break. Uh, go do some other stuff and then come back um, here in, oh, in a few days. Um, 
and uh, and kind of try to try to finish this out. But the Thieves Guild is coming along. It's very cool, very fun build. Uh, got a lot of interiors to do, a lot of like caves, sort of secret little hidden stuff to do. But we will get there with good time, all in good time, brother. Okay, thanks for watching. I'm gonna get back to Game of Thrones. I'll see you all next episode. Hey, I just want to say a special thank you to my YouTube members and my patrons, uh, you folks over there. Thank you so much for the support that you give to this channel, keeping the servers rolling, keeping all the special stuff that we're able to do uh, on the table. So appreciate it very much. Uh, thank you. And we'll, uh, we'll see y'all see y'all next time. Hey, uh, if you're one of the people who just joined for, for, for Patreon this month, uh, please, please make sure that, that I know where you want your house or your epic build or whatever. Uh, I'll be doing the statues here probably next episode. Um, probably the season finale and yeah, we're getting close. Maybe not quite yet, but soon, soon, soon. Okay. I'll see y'all next time.